So I wanted to show you how to share a portion of the screen on Zoom uh, with Burlington English. And I'm also going to record this with another uh, screen recording program so you can compare what the viewer sees and what you as the user see, hopefully. I've never done this before, but I'm gonna try it. Okay, so I'm recording on two different things here, I believe, yes, okay. So I'm gonna share the screen. So typically, if we were to share the screen, this would come up and you could share desktop one and I have another monitor, I can do desktop two. Uh, I'm always gonna share the sound or usually gonna share the sound. But in this case, I am going to share, I'm going to click on advanced up here, advanced. And uh, I'm going to click on portion of the screen. By the way, we were nerding out one evening uh, for our orientation for Ava and Ruben uh, can show you something really cool with the slides as virtual background. It's really great. Anyway. FYI, ask him about it. So uh, I'm going to click on this, and then I'm going to click on this. And now it's showing me, you're going to see something else when you see it on uh, on the, the box, on the letterbox here on Zoom. Right now, um, this is what the operator screen looks like. Okay, what the user screen looks like and that, but you won't see this, I don't think, on the Zoom screen because uh, all the Zoom stuff is omitted. Okay, so I'm gonna click right here. Now, again, I'm gonna click full screen just to show you what this does, just to give you an example. And I'm, I'm grabbing the corner of this box down in the corner. It's, it's hard to get sometimes. I'm gonna grab the corner of the box and see what it does. Now you see how it's all enlarged. I'm gonna move it to frame a different part. I can zoom way in, that's nothing, but I move it down to here. And it will enlarge really whatever area you wanna enlarge. And it, I think, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm gonna click on this and I'm going to, this corner will also, that's as small as it'll go or as big as it'll go. But uh, there are several ways that you could like it move the upper right corner will do it. Uh, the lower right corner will do it. The lower left corner will do it. And again, sometimes it's hard to get. You have to click on it and move it and it, it turns orange when you do it. So just so we can see, I'm gonna go back to full screen here. So uh, we're gonna go to Burlington English. I'm going to go Burlington English this way because this is the way. Okay. And I will log in. Then uh, I'm going to click on courses, hopefully. And let me try uh, this one, which is in essence level four and in class lessons. And I will just try, how about reading immigrant success story? This is where I've had really good luck with this. Ooh, we were talking about tic-tac-toe. We were talking about games the other day. Tic-tac-toe is a very good one as a team. We're really keeping there, keeping there all night. Okay. So, and I think that Julia suggested this, that it's really good. It's a little, a little bit of a problem, but it's really good to, uh, to go full screen. Now, notice that I could enlarge the screen by hitting Command Plus and I could make the screen bigger. You're gonna see how this works, but I can also just reframe it with this. You notice how I do it on one screen and how it shows it bigger on the other. So, um, and this one, these are my Zoom, uh, my Zoom toolbar, which is kind of a problem I always find. So I, I have another screen over here, so I can put that on the other screen, or you can put it lower if you don't have it. So. Um, so in this lesson, you're going to read about successful immigrants. Okay, use titles and subtitles. So, and these are about different immigrant success stories. This is a good story. I've used it before. I like it a lot. Um, I want to show you one thing you can do. If we would just want to go over, over the topics, we can do that. Now you're just seeing that little box. Uh, 
or I can go down and start to ask the questions, just isolate different people and say, uh, what do you think this woman does? Or what, she started a business, what is her business, right? Then I can move, just move this up to here and reframe it. Yeah, if I want to, or you could just show his face. Notice that in between times, so hopefully this will be synced up simultaneously. Notice that in between times, uh, there you don't see you don't see the zoom. You just see the first shot, and then when I release the mouse, you see the like in this case the wider one. And then I want to go. Let's say I want to go up to her, here. I can do this. And again, you got to be kind of careful. Yeah, what do you think her job is? So. This is give you an idea of what you can do with it. So you can really call out exactly what you want and you can do it on any program, which is great. You can do it on, uh, I use Adobe Acrobat uh, Pro a lot and uh, it works really well there too. Let me go back here a little bit. All right. And again, we can do, I'm gonna go full screen again here. And uh, now on this screen, as you see, there's a whole thing about, I should reset this. There's a whole thing about the, there are questions you're gonna answer, but you can start just with this. You can start with, uh, oh, look, right? He owns a bakery. What's his job? He's a baker. Uh, and we can just isolate different areas to move it around, or you can show, or I can go out and show the whole thing. And I can just go into these parts too. look at the pictures of people who own small businesses, discuss the questions. So what business do you, what businesses do you see in the pictures? Again, I can, I can put it all up on the screen, or I could just go into one business. What business is this? Bakery, I can move this down to another. Okay, I love this. I find it works really well. Uh, there are lots of videos about this. It, if it's a fairly new feature, lots of videos. The, I'll, there are places where it's sort of harder to do this, but it works really well on websites. All right, thank you, bye.